Welcome back. Well, with St. Patrick's Day already upon us, it's important for RTE to provide a platform for someone to patronise us with annoying stuff we already know. Firstly, with hair like Vidal Sassoon and a face like a smack bottom, it's Killian de Gascon. Killian, what's your message for the big day? So this St. Patrick's Day, I would urge people um, to be cautious. Um, you know, some people may not be aware of it, but there is a virus called COVID-19, uh, which is in Ireland. Uh, currently, there are four uh, strains um, of the virus um, in the state. Um, the OC43, the 229E, the NL63 and the HKUI. Uh, so uh, I know what I'm talking about. Get away. So this is the second year in a row that the parade has been cancelled. Thanks be to God. So what do we do instead? So I would remind people that instead of the tradition of um, going into town with your ladder, uh, pretending to enjoy the parade and bringing your children to the pub while you get hammered, this year it has to be different. So my advice is to get drunk at home instead. You, know, you can sit outside your house, no problem there, uh, which will afford you the pretty novel uh, experience of, of pissing in your own garden. Sam McConkie, what about this new phenomenon of face-licking parties? Well, I've actually never heard of face-licking parties. And while it's an understandable social interaction, it's something we probably should uh, avoid. Uh, I myself yesterday was in the queue for the supermarket and I had an overwhelming urge to lick the faces of people on either side of me. But I managed to distract myself by reading the death notices in the newspaper. So I suppose it's important to have an alternative plan in your head should you get these urges. Either way, it's, uh, you should wash your hands afterwards. Uh, in fact, regardless of what you're thinking or doing, uh, wash your hands. Even if what you're doing is washing your hands, wash them afterwards. Wash your hands. Right, well, we've got to leave it there. Thanks very much for joining us. Have a great St. Patrick's Day. As if. <laughs>